Alrighty, traders, George here. Time for a look at the week in review. I've got some great trade highlights to go through here. Let's get right into it. So for starters, this is what we had for the subscriber series. At the beginning of last week, we looked at this setup here for oil. Screenshot from the video right there. This basically needed to sell off quite a bit more and then rally up to get long or the opposite to get short up here at the top. Then for gold, we had this setup here, stuck right on a balance beam trying to break above or below that guy. And then for the NASDAQ, we had this basically looking to show strength above or below this key balance beam. And then here's the follow through. So for oil, we had a couple of attempts to break higher here with the third one finally going up and basically just nailing this target right here. The first couple times stopped for a small loss. We had one for three hit for 24 ticks there, 240 per contract. That's for the single contract strategy. Obviously, multi-contract traders doing a lot better there with the target twos being hit. For gold, we had this action, a really incredible week here for gold. The area here to be long above, we had price break that level three times. The first two times basically going straight up to the first target and then coming back down. The third time it got out with just a small gain there, but all in all, uh, well over $9 gain on those three trades right there. The subsequent short went very well in favor. The single contract strategy is out with a $3 gain, $300, I should say. Uh, for the multi-contract traders, the Wednesday trade alert, the stop held by one tick as we move down to hit target two. We hit two target twos here for a total of an extra $2,700 for those of you that are multi-contract on the balance beam. But for the single contract uh, subscriber signals, we're doing five for five for 1380 there, 1380 And then lastly here for the NASDAQ, we had a couple other nice moves here. We were basically four for six for 45 points here. The first long here basically went straight up to hit target one. Look at what happened when it got there, it just rolled over. Set up this bounce here. This was in sort of no man's land here in terms of the time, but I'm logging it here for our, our data. It's out at break even. The subsequent short made a beeline to target one. And then on Friday, we had sort of a pinball type activity here with price breaking lower once it got up to get short again and then short again and then long. All in all, in that section there, hit one target to the downside being short and then two stop outs there, one for less than initial. So that does 45.75 points, $915 per contract. And here's the way it looks on our old balance beam spreadsheet. We're talking about these guys right here, these three markets, these trades, as good of a week as you can expect to have here. $3,400 on the nose for these 14 trades. And you'll notice that the losers here, not much at all, and gold, all winners. We're also at new equity highs for the year at just over $59,000. This is all driven by the exact same thing that you've seen for the past year in this series, which are trade calls that are based on the balance beam model here and really focused primarily to these three markets. There's a few others that we look at, but these are the main markets that we look at, gold, the NASDAQ and oil futures and $59,024.60 through 2016. If you want to subscribe to get these trade signals, use the link at the bottom of the video. And if you actually want to use the chart, the same one that we use here for all of our balance beam trade calls, you can do that as well and become an actual balance beam trader. Stay tuned for the next subscriber series signals, which are going to be going out between Monday evening and Tuesday morning. And we'll see you back in training Tuesday.